Right, there you have it. The police are uh, definitely very ready. Let's uh, bring it back to the studio and uh, talk about uh, some of the matters. Uh, if you've been going around uh, much of uh, the country or you had plans to go for a few conferences across the world, many of those have been cancelled. One that hasn't been cancelled is uh, one that is here talking about the upstream and the downstream side of uh, the petroleum and the oil and gas space. And uh, today I'm uh, glad to have uh, Mr. Rukundo uh, Tom Mayebare, who is uh, the manager of economic and financial analysis at the Petroleum Authority of Uganda, to just uh, uh, break down the uh, upcoming conference. Uh, Tom, you've seen the past, uh, what, uh, 15 minutes. We're going on mm -hmm. about COVID-19. Uh, uh, just uh, give me a sense of the preparedness. Maybe we were supposed to talk about this last, but I mm. just figured uh, many conferences are being uh, cancelled. Mm. I understand you're going ahead with this. Mm. Um, thank you, Arnold. Uh, I think you raise a legitimate concern. And uh, just to al allay the fears of our viewers, yeah. we have uh, partnered and complied with the regulations and standards that the Ministry of Health has stipulated. Right. We will have eight medical practitioners from Ministry of Health on site, on site yeah. to, to, to do the testing, to do the sanitization, right. and uh, all the other mitigations that are required. But right. even before that, we've ensured that all our participants that uh, that are within the country are right. aware of the regulations. Even those that are coming in from uh, external countries, we shared with them regulations from Ministry of Health. Right. So they've been here for two weeks, they've been quarantined, they've been tested, so we can guarantee 100% that we, we will be free. All right, Tom, let's talk about uh, the uh, conference as itself. Uh, now, you do make it very clear there are many opportunities upstream and downstream. Mm. How would you explain to a, a, a layman uh, one inch like myself, right. what opportunities are presented out there if uh, they want to get into the oil and gas space in uh, the western part of the country? Well, first of all, the opportunities are enormous. As, as you said, it's mainly with the upstream and the midstream within the country. So this is the oil that was produced under the ground in Uganda. Right. So we are at that particular phase where we're transitioning uh, initially, we were doing exploration to, est to establish how much oil is there. Right. We now know we have 6 billion barrels under the ground. 1.4, 1.6 recoverable. Recoverable, 100%. Yes, yes. So that's almost money in the bank. Yeah. Right. So now we are transitioning to getting that oil out of the ground and transporting it to the international market and yes. also refining it in the country. So uh, just like any other infrastructure development, the opportunities are enormous. There are opportunities for business enterprises to supply goods, services, and, uh, and, and human resource. The opportunities for the individuals, the, the wanainchi, yeah. the unskilled labor on site, the, the various individuals who will actually partake in the particular R Right, uh, Tom, if uh, I'm a rich folk who's coming out here in a mm. Gulf Stream, obviously right. I know what this presents, sure, right? But sure. uh, we've seen this kind of thing in Nigeria where sure. you've sure. Uh, seen sure. the, the, the small guy, you know, sure. getting to fertilizer, getting sure. to some, some of the the byproducts of mm, uh, production mm, of oil mm, are mm. these things that are actually readily available, low-hanging fruit. A hundred percent. And that, as, as, as you rightly say, Arnold, is one of the core emphases of the conference tomorrow. Mm. So we'll be talking about the linkages between oil and gas right. and other sectors of Uganda's economy. And, and therein, we're looking at the opportunities and the challenges. So as you said, the, the, ag the agricultural sector. So they're twofold. The, 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 the farmers in the country can provide goods and services such as supplies, things like beans, some tomatoes, rice, various other things. But then there are also some, some offshoots, things like uh, petrochemicals yeah. and fertilizer, for right. example. W we very well know that when you produce oil, there are some byproducts that can be used to generate fertilizer. Right, right. So there's a multiplier. Uh, yeah. Definitely, definitely, and uh, a, a snowball effect yeah, of sorts. Uh, uh, Tom, I want you to wear your economist hat here. Sure. I thought I saw the fancy title when you're sure, walking sure, in. Sure. A few guys holding your briefcase. Um, Dutch disease on the West. Mm -hmm. uh, how can Uganda, how do the policymakers like yourself mm -hmm. make sure that the Western part, the Hoima side of the country, mm -hmm. does not fall prey to the Dutch disease? Mm -hmm. Are these things that you're actually talking about policy-wise to make sure that it doesn't happen, that uh, guys throw away their hose and they're like, you know what, the, the oil is good, I'm, I'm making a buck here. Sure, sure. Well, you have hit it right on the money. Uh, Uganda has done extensive, mm -hmm. and I'll tell you, extensive world-class benchmarking. We've been to Nigeria, we've been to Norway, we have been to the UK. We've been to all, all, almost all oil and gas producing countries around the world. Yeah. We've seen the challenges, we've seen the opportunities, 
and we are back in the country to ensure that none of those negative impacts happen in Uganda. And to speak to your point, the conference tomorrow is, is specific to the Dutch disease, where you find a lot of the pro productive capacity moves from other sectors to oil and gas. But we're saying no, if you're in other, if you're in some of those other sectors, you don't have to move. There will be opportunities right. that will be brought by the oil and gas sector that you can benefit from. Tom, yep. many thanks for making time to speak to us. Uh, that is uh, Tom Ayebare, who is uh, with. Uh, uh, who was actually going on about uh, the petroleum side of things. There is a serious conference that is coming up in uh, just a few, and uh, you definitely want to stick around.